Hello, Sonia here with your intuitive tip of the week. And this week we're talking about the third space. So if you subscribe to my new podcast that I do with my mom, Sonia Shokat, and my sister, it's all related. This was our topic of conversation this week, talking and welcoming you to living in the third space. So let's get down to brass tacks. What is the third space? So we live in a world most often of right, wrong, good, bad, all or nothing in the ego intellect world that doesn't have access to solutions, doesn't have access to deeper listening and can get really, really stuck in what is right in front of them. But when we're in that arena, when we're in that place, we disconnect from our imagination, we disconnect from our portal of listening, and we disconnect from our like our availability to be in the moment and to listen. That's where our intuition resides, that's where our guides and angels reside, that's where solution resides. So when we step out of really being so tied to being right or wrong, we step into a whole new arena. And what the new question is, is not, am I right? But is that true? Does that resonate? Does that resonate on a core level? What works for me for now? And even when, you know, I always sort of like imagine in my mind, like stepping into the third space. And I can tell when I'm not in that space of like when my head gets like very, very, very tunnel vision. It's like when I'm like, nope, there are no solutions. There's no way. That's it. All or nothing. I can't do it. And it gets super overwhelmed. And for me, it's a good reminder to start to step back in and connect to my own little heart and actually start to listen and ask for help and support. The big thing is, is when we want to tune into our intuition, we have to be guidable. Intuition is really just the art of deep listening. That's what I call it. And instead of listening up here, we listen with our hearts, we listen with our guts, we listen with our whole bodies to check and see what resonates. And it's accessible to all of us. All we have to do is start to just make a shift start to step into, that's like, I almost like imagine myself like going into a doorway because sometimes like I'm not available to a solution. That's okay too. Sometimes I want to be my poo 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 diaper and I have to just be okay with that and be compassionate with that my little sweet little ego intellect isn't available to a solution in that moment because otherwise we get into a push and pull. So I'm going to give you a really quick story. So a really great third space story. So um, last summer, my boyfriend Lane was going to a wedding of one of his best friends, Jimmy, and he was a groomsman. And so we dropped off his suit. He like rented like a suit and like you go get it tailored. We tailored it down this place, down the block at this cute little shop called Thumbelina. And so we drop it off on a Tuesday or like Wednesday. They're like, come back in a few days. And so he was leaving, I believe, like Friday morning. So, th or Thursday afternoon, it was something like that. So we get in the car, we pull up to Thumbelina and we knock to go pick up the suit. And lo and behold, Thumbelina has like random days that they are closed. And Thursdays happen to be one of those days. Now, Jenny's wedding was like in Ashland, Oregon. So we live in New Orleans. So immediately I'm like, okay, what do we do? I mean, I guess I can overnight it to you. You know, the intellect, that first, second space would say, there's no solution, you're screwed, that's it. And, uh, you know, I was like, we were both like, let's just pray to our angels. It's like, let's just pray for a solution. Let's just ask for a solution. And then Lane had the idea, he was like, all right, I'm gonna get up and he goes up and we decide that we're gonna go knock on the door. I go stand there, like knock on the door of Thumbelina. I'm like, maybe it's dark, there's no one in there. I'm like, but it just dropped in, might as well, right? That third space always open to a solution. And lo and behold, out of the back of this completely dark, closed, tiny house emerges this woman who works there. And she, we got the suit and Lane got on his flight and we didn't, we didn't have to overnight it and it wasn't a lot of drama, but that is living in the third space. If we're in our heads, if we're in that intellect place, there would have been no access to a solution. It would have been like, oh, it's closed and that's it. Tom P as the French would say. 
But when you're in that place of looking for solutions, of asking for help, things drop in that would surprise you. Never in a million billion years did either of us expect somebody to be there. But our little sweet little guidance system, our little helpers were like, hey, go and see. And lo and behold, we got the suit. And that's the thing. So if you're ever in a space of wanting to, A, step into the third space, being welcomed into the third space, first check in with your own availability. Be available to a solution. A lot of times our little minds, our, our little intellects don't like solutions unless they're from one point to another. We have to be open to being surprised. We have to be open to something that's outside of our linear thinking and be available and move with it. The great thing about the third space is it's where we are naturally designed to live. It's where we have our solutions, our creativity, our connectivity. So in welcoming you to the third space, the big thing that I would just even really encourage you to do is start to fit, like pay attention to all your solutions. Start to pay attention to all those little hits, all those little nudges, all those little ways that start to show up because it will start to train your mind to pay attention and trust your intuition, trust your deep GPS system and expect solutions. A good question that I always got from my mom, got from my Nana is what does your spirit say? Ask, check in, ask for help and listen, be available to something that is outside of your norm. Your head might go, mm -mm, I don't know about that. I, 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 I. Just like ours, we able to knock down that door of Thumbelina, but be surprised. Be available for something that is not, that's not in your linear mind and be available for your gorgeous guidance because it'll show up and it's really a lot of fun living in the third space. So as always, if you like this, tell me, do you live in the third space? Are you somebody that's able to like look for solutions? Tell me in the comments below. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. If you haven't already subscribed to our podcast, it's all related. We come out with a new episode every week and like I give you tools and tips and I have a wonderful little group, Your Spiritual Bestie, where we take the tool that we work in It's All Related, that we share in It's All Related and like work it as a group there, which is so fun and so important to have your own believing eyes. And if you haven't already, go into my link tree and get my free meditation and ebook. These are tools that I love and use all the time that'll help you jumpstart your intuition. And as always, if you haven't already, get my book, You Are Amazing. Serena and I wrote it as a love letter and it's filled, filled, filled with stuff to help you tune in because that's my greatest joy. So I'm sending you all my love. I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye.